Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Time for a review today. Yay! Okay. Stay up late tonight to finish this. Audrey Hepburn in Paris by Megan Friedlander. Camera's okay. I'm giving it three stars. So basically, as you know, I'm in, I'm in love with Audrey Hepburn. Huge fan. If, I, if you don't believe me, I'll show you really quickly. This is hanging on my wall. And I'm also a fan of Paris. If you don't believe me, I'll show you that too. Oh, there's the Eiffel Tower. And there's Paris. So, how can I not like a book about Audrey Hepburn and Paris together? Hello? They're... So, this is a story of times when Audrey was in Paris. Obviously, not all her films were... Film, not all her movies were filmed in Paris, but some were. So, that's what they talk about. And, of course... Fashion, fashion, fashion. All about the fashion. Which, for me, it's like, meh. But it was interesting. I like more the history than the fashion in it. And that's why I didn't give four stars. Um, the pictures are wonderful. I know at the end, the uh, author... They said the author loved to collect um, old photos of her. Rare old photos of her. Um, actually, one of them where she's standing by the Eiffel Tower and me play around with it, make it do a cross stitch for myself. But we'll see. So that's in the early day, and then later on, her in color. So pretty. So yeah, I enjoyed reading it. Um, it was a different than Dutch Girl, because as if you don't know my last re my other review of her book, uh, Dutch Girl was when she, World War II, and she was stuck in Holland, and all the stuff that happened around her with the war. So this one was more lighthearted, not as sad. Although at the end, I was sad, because, you know, I didn't realize she died of cancer, so I was like, oh, wow. But, yes, you saw her aging gracefully in this. All her beautiful uh, dresses. Her friendship with, and I'm not going to be able to say a designer name, but her friendship with, the one, with a few of the designers. Let's say that. Um, about her different marriages as well and why her marriages failed. So, very uh, more enlightening and interesting than I thought it would be. And I'm glad I found out more about her. So, yay. All right. So if you're an Audrey Hepburn fan, I highly recommend it. So once again, it's Audrey Hepburn in Paris by Megan Freelander, and I'm giving it three stars. All right, that's it for me today. Everyone have a great day. Happy being, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.